Greetings, Commanders! Welcome to Crash Landing, the Elite Dangerous Community Show. Yes, the elephant in the room. We will get onto that immediately. Yes, we absolutely will. But first of all, before we do that, I must introduce my guest for this evening. It's Royal Hanky. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I've been squeeing all day, as, as I just said in the chat. Yes. <laughs> Someone spotted something last night. Did, um, did you see it? Did you see it? Is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been great. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm but I might have been in the dark, but mm. I just didn't see the like on the other video, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. There was a lot of specu rumor and speculation uh, immediately. It was like, like, is it is it true? It, you know, are are these videos been fake? Uh, you know, like, yeah. Sorry, there there was a little blip. The audio wasn't picking up then for a second. But uh, yes, it is Royal Hanky. He is he, he is here in in the flesh, in the person, and actually in game with me where I am. Oh, sorry, I must say thank you very much for coming all the way out here to meet me uh, at the Crash Nebula, which is. You're welcome. <laughs> Look at me. Actually, you made me do a, a, a double a Christmas a, Day landing. A, a, yes, yes. So you managed to get all the way to Beagle Point, wasn't it? Yeah, on Christmas Day. And also made it in a day to Jack Station. I landed oh. on Christmas Day as well, so a double landing. Oh my goodness, goodness. That is some fair play, that is some good going. That is some really, uh, really uh, good flying. You could say it was a double crash landing. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, it's lovely to see you all in the chat as well. It's lovely, lovely to see so many people in the chat. I, I imagine you have all had a crazy day as well. I, I think everyone's been getting absolutely red hot on the social media and the videos and things like that. Mrs. K is in the chat as well. Yes, she, does, she doesn't like the beard. Yes, sorry. Yeah. Oh, Mrs. Yeah. K. <laughs> Bearden is a bit of a weekend trip in Andy Pickens. I like, reckon you trip trip up a little bit. But it's <laughs> oh, dear. The Huggy Monster. Greetings. Nice to see you. Lovely to see you all in chat. Yes, it is. It's been a crazy, crazy day. And almost four years to the day since the uh, the Kickstarter was funded as well, which is uh, which is a nice kind of anniversary, isn't it? So I gotta I gotta start off. I must meet up with you in the Crash Nebula. I'm I'm just one. One more hop away, I've been um, jumping around nearby, gathering up all the stars, trying not to blow myself up again. Um, yeah. <laughs> it happens. Remember, <laughs> remember when you jump in, don't tip me like you did. I, yeah, oh, you yeah. Back. Throttle back, yes. <laughs> yes. No, I don't want to bounce off the anaconda again. Yes, we don't want to do that. <laughs> I've still got that dent, you know, in there. The <laughs> you just can't, can't be removed. Just can't buff it out. Buff it out. Ask, <laughs> John Stable has got some tea cut. It? That, that's bound to do it. Mm. Yeah, well, I've, put, I've signed it now, you know. Crash was here. <laughs> I see, yeah, well, it's, it's him. Oh, here we go. Right, let me slow down. Oh, I see you there. I see you there. Hovering near the neutron star. Yeah, just yeah. scandy. <laughs> I must admit, rather scary seeing a, another commander... Uh, this far out. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Let's go ahead. Gonna... Oh dear. I wonder if I got weapons on here. <laughs> oh, no, I <laughs> run, run. No, I've got fifty light year jump on this one, so everything's been stripped down to get to. Yeah, get to the time. the maximum <laughs> maximum range on it. Yeah, no interdictors yeah. or none of that business. Speaking speaking of interdictors. People finally get my hashtag. I've been saying this for months, haven't I? Hashtag hyperdicted. I've been spamming it everywhere. <laughs> it's like no one's been getting it. And finally, finally, it's like it means something to people. <laughs> we did have a couple of uh, other suggestions as well, actually. I must I must point at one. It was, it was a really good suggestion. Someone said winterdicted. Because winter, winter is winter is finally here. Uh, so that was, yeah, that, yeah that's, a, that's a nice one. Oh, cracky. I, that's a thing on there. I think... 
I think I can hear myself coming back on you. Yeah, is that um, is that the audio uh, from hold the? Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry. Hold on a second. <laughs> no problem. There we go. That's, That's smart. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, what it was. I've got the on the laptop. We got to mute, mute the laptop. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Right. That's let's... why it was coming back on you. Go so. on over. What is the gravity like on these worlds? Let's have a quick check. Uh, by the way, I haven't got any vehicles. You haven't got an SRV or nothing like that. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. We can head on yeah. over and have a look at some of the little planets. I can just have a quick refuel in yeah. this system before we head over. I do love the the little the little neutron star. Bless it. Bless it. I've had a very good system near near here actually. I um I haven't got the screenshot available to show, but. I, I did bookmark it because it's a great system and there's a planet within a, f a couple of hundred light seconds of the neutron star and it's got a, a ring so you can land on the planet, you can see the ring system and then you can see the neutron star glowing through the ring as well. It's absolutely oh. fantastic, Real, really really brilliant sight on that. Arms like noodles, greetings, greetings. Uh, what's that? Made a, Chandra, made a present for the tin foil hats. Oh, hang on. What's this? Let's see if we can get this full screen for everyone. What have you made here, Shan? Let's have a quick look. Uh, let's put, there we go. No one would have believed in the first weeks of 3303 that human affairs were being watched from the timeless worlds of space. No one could have dreamed we were being scrutinized as someone with a microscope studies creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water. Few men have even considered the possibility of life on other planets, and yet, across the gulf of space, minds immeasurably superior to ours, he regarded this Earth with envious eyes, and slowly and surely, they drew their plans against us. Isn't that a, isn't that a quote from War of the Worlds, I think, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, I, I like that one, Chan. I like that one. Yeah, th there's been a lot of tinfoil hat-wearing business going on today. Yeah, you can't blame them, really. You know, it's, it's bound to happen. Um... Basalt greetings, Commander. Mr. Junks is in there as well. The Thargoid thing is driving you crazy. It's everywhere, isn't it, Mr. Junks? It's not like we're talking about it. Oh, wait, we are talking about it as well. Sorry, Junks. It's everywhere. Sorry. <laughs> Prime 9, greetings, Commander. Yeah, I'm slowly, I'm slowly disintegrating on that background. It's not, it's not good, is it? Uh, <laughs> I think we should have a drink with don't you? A drink? Before, yes. don't, don't shoot the Thargoid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Hashtag we want peace. <laughs> Although I, I have seen already someone hit, and, I, and this was the scary thing. I, have, I haven't got that video linked up actually, um, but there was someone who decided to have have a pop at one of one of the uh, one of our, our our new friends that have been discovered, um, and uh, yeah, didn't even scratch a single percent off the shields of this thing. I think that's kind of a scary premonition of, of what might be yeah. <laughs> when you look at it fully armored corvette and it didn't even scratch the shields it's like yeah you don't really want to be shooting these things <laughs> what, what i'm worried about is them two what was crashed what shot them down uh yeah yeah exactly what managed to take one of those things out and disintegrate it so well i mean if you look at the uh structure let's try and get the uh, the clip the, the picture back up again actually so everyone can see um if you look at the size and the scale of these things let's get this in view there we go look at it and you can see it unfold that's what i love as well is with the way that it unfolds the petals of it unfurl and it kind of expands slightly the animation on it's fantastic lighting as well the lighting effects the guys have done fantastic loads of really really great uh, pieces in the news there. forbes have picked it up bbc have picked it up uh, you know uh, on the technology section things like that it's absolutely fantastic to see such a buzz around it which is really really cool um Gamora, what is saying? What what is my views on the TIQ or Sovereign uh, being the first ones to to open fire on the Thargoids? <laughs> I tried to tell them. I tried to tell them, but hey, hey, that's what, you know. Um, go on. Frontier said. Frontier said that it, that wasn't in the plans for attacking the the, the unidentified artifacts. Hmm. Not unknown artifact. You weren't in their plans for. People fire on him, and it's sort of their path of what they want to do. Yeah, exactly. I'm just, yeah. I'm just wondering whether they want us to go. They want us to make peace with the Thargoids because this other one wants, and so we join up it, against this other one. No, no, which, no. Nobody said the T word. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh! <laughs> might not, there might not be Torgoids then. There's, I mean, they've got eight sided symmetry. It's. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty but like, I mean, when you look at the, the the size and shape of it, you see like one of the petals. I mean, when you look at the crash site. It is just one small part of the base of this thing. A couple of the petals, maybe. That's all you really see in that crash site, and it's huge. It's it's massive when you put it next to like an anaconda or something like that. Um, so that just gives you an idea of the scale of these things. I mean, is this the only kind of ship they have? Are there more kinds yeah. of ships that they have? I know. The scouts, aren't they? So they'd be pretty small ones compared, wouldn't they, to the bigger ones? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Speculation! <laughs> Speculation, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, what's Prime, Prime Nine saying? They're, they're huge cuddle cuddle flowers. <laughs> That's they, yeah, they're just they're just friendly little flowers. There we go. Have you heard stories, you know, people have been interdicted by him, hyper mm -hmm. addicted by him. I've heard stories that the, the people who haven't got the uni, the one, the, the so what I've heard is you, you've got to have an unidentified artifact on, on your ship for them to yeah. interdict you. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. I've got a mate, Je, you know, Jester D, mm -hmm. yes, just, he yeah. said he, know, he knows people who haven't got the... The UA. Uh, and been interdicted. Uh, I'm just, but I'm just wondering. <laughs> you know when the thirty ways first come out and suddenly decide what one and they scanned our ships. Mm -hmm. They are reacting on who scanned them, mm -hmm. and that's that's why they're going for them. So that would say think that there might be the game. Whoever scanned them, they'll they can interdict to them because they've already got the. The it's picture and this, that, and the other. Yeah. So you don't need a UA in there because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they've already got the target. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think I think the 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 primary trigger is is location based. That's yeah. Look, that's the they're they're there, aren't they? <laughs> yeah yeah. So it's uh, it's so. roughly the uh, roughly. Oh, let me see what Shan's got another link on there. Now. Is that the? Uh, are you talking about that? Oh yes, I've seen, yeah, I did see a couple of shots of this. This is a, a detailed view of the cockpit. Let's try and get this up on the screen as well. So there we yeah. go. There we go. So people are saying that, that that looks like that's the cockpit section in the centre there, which is the opposite side of the like when you look at the scout section that's been revealed so far. Um, and yes, I am saying scout section because yeah. Drew Wagers confirmed it, and a bunch of other people. Said, I'm just going to say it. Scout. Okay, this is a scout. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you know, people being saying about the sound of them being brilliant. Oh yes, yeah. that but, it's oh, second to none. It really is. But don't but I, th I like the I think the ship's quite good as well. Because what they don't notice, I think you know, it's like a jellyfish. Mm, yeah, the shape of it, it it adapts, well, and yeah, I mean when you look at uh, and when they bottom part of it, the smaller part of the like the wing, the sent to move. Well, I've seen. Yes, yes, they do. Yeah, and you've got that kind of like iridescent glow over the things. Well, yeah. really, really fantastic uh, details that have gone into this I mean, thing. It really does. I mean, people saying the sound, but I'm saying both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all of it. I mean, the whole the whole thing has yeah. come together really, really lovely. And the, the way it acts and moves, it you know, it feels organic. It doesn't it doesn't move like the other ship types, does it? That's the thing which is really yeah. nice. It's not like a, a mechanical thing. It does feel like it's a living thing, kind of moving it in in a way that you you. You're almost like a jellyfish would move through fluid sort of thing, so it's uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> and I said, uh, both of my main characters are twenty thousand light years away from the action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, happened at a worse of time. Yeah, for me. Well, it's like yeah, I I I just staying the heck out of dodge for the, for the time being. Yeah. I'm like I'm I'm over here in my little area. I'm quite happy. I'm not going to get high predicted. I'm happy. I'm happy where I am. <laughs> yeah. Me, me other, I've got my third commander there at the moment because he's the only one who can reach it within a reasonable uh, jump time. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, standard asp. <laughs> <laughs> asp explorer, so yeah. all the others just in basic beginner ships. 
<laughs> oh, Stephen has put, put, put a good thing in the chat there saying there's a hint of a triangle shape in the uh, right channel spectrogram. So people are kind of been dissecting the sound that it makes as well. I just think it's, I mean, I, I love the layers that are in the sound effects. It's kind of that really eerie. I mean, you get that immediate silence after it's disabled your ship and then it just kind of, the, the music builds up to that crescendo and then you kind of have that that organic sound uh, oh, as it hits you with it with its probe it's scary really really scary and it's you know just the start just the beginning um yeah. tankero is there going to be any new human ship designs coming down the pipe at any point um i i don't i wouldn't rule it out i mean there's no immediate plans for it i know the the um, Basically, the way that the guys approach it is they see the ships on like kind of uh, like what they call like a like a spine almost like it's like a scale they slot into certain regions. So if they see a gap in one, they will bring out new ships to fill those gaps. Um, at the moment, there's quite a good range of ships in all those different areas. So no immediate plans for ships, but you know, don't rule it out. There might be more coming. And I hope so. I like that new one. What you like? Hmm. What do you want? Uh, but, but, what, the Panther Clipper? <laughs> yes, Everyone yeah, wants the Panther Clipper. Great, Osric is saying, Crate. I As much as I wind poor Snuffler up, I would love to see the Crate. I would love to see the Crate, actually, to be fair. It would be a great little ship. I think it would work well as a fighter, because, I mean, it was, very, it was a very, very small ship in the older games. Um, so it would be... Oh, let, let me put my wing beacon and drop down, actually, for a second. Um, and then you can follow me down. There we go. Uh, beacon should be active. There we go. Cool. So we, can, we can sit here for a second and, dis and discuss things on that. Um, uh, Padam, greetings Commander. Nice to see you there my friend. Uh, is it possible to get the spectrogram easy? Uh, maybe use Audacity. Yeah, Audacity does it. There's, um, I had to Google it because I honestly I didn't know how Audacity did it, but there's a pretty simple option in Audacity to just go uh, uh, get the uh, like spectrogram out. The hard thing is trying to find the, the right range of frequencies to narrow it down to get, you know, a, a meaningful kind of uh, uh, setup from it, uh, you know. Uh, Moray Starboat. Ah, yes. Classic, that was. Absolutely classic. Again, it's got to be... Uh, the problem with adding more ships to the game is that there's got to be a meaningful purpose, you know, a, a reason to add them in and, and somewhere that they fit in those range of ships which are already there. Um... I think one of the really, really cool things that was shown in the PlayStation 4 trailers is a hint that there's going to be really, really big ships coming in very soon, so... But of course that's all speculation, we don't know. But it would be nice, be nice. Um, Karakina Panther Clipper would be a great pain in the ass to fly manually through the engines of a space station. I would, I would hope that it, it, if and when the Panther Clipper does finally come, we still have the rotating like engine nacelles on the side, would be very, very nice to have that. and. I would love it to be such that if they are rotated into landing position, you cannot fit through the docking bay. That would be a really cool little thing, is that you have to get all the way in and all the way out before you can, uh, you know, like, rotate them <laughs> into landing position sort of thing. That would be cool. Uh, Palom says, her prediction was in Maya itself. Yeah, it is. It's kind of in that region. Um, you see you've got your third commander there, haven't you, Chris? No, my first one. Your first one. first commander, the main commander, there, yeah. Yeah. Yes. The third one's near the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, yes, yes, our, our, our eight-sided friends. Let's just, just yeah. our, our, our octagonal spacefaring, uh, you know, huggy flowers, oh. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> then, Do not shoot. <laughs> yeah. not, they're, not, they're not giant orchids of death. They're just kind of, you know, staring at us, you know. <laughs> Phoenix to fire, greetings, Commander. I, 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 I nearly explode. <laughs> Snoz is hoping that I explode. <laughs> Mutant space daisies. That's another one. Yeah, Oct octagonal allies. I like that one, Shan. That's a good one. Yeah, and sh yeah, I know Shan. Yeah, he said the other day he's saving up for his capital ship. <laughs> you could at, at the rate you're going, buddy. You're going to be buying the space stations. Uh, What's that? Uh, happy sack. Mine around all of the ship sub variants, like the drop ship, salt gunship, uh, is a wasted opportunity to introduce more very different ships like the, the Mamba and the Crayer. <laughs> yeah, I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, I mean, I mean what I would. I mean, something we, we spoke about before. I mean, you see, like the, the, the Diamondback Scape, the Diamondback Explorer, um, you know, they're variations where they have, like, slightly different um, 
physical exteriors to, you know, to fit, but it's basically the same parts. And they do have moving parts on them, which is something which is really cool. It was shown that they could be done. Um, I'd like to see things where there's more physical variations that make a difference. Like, you know, like we see the ship kits, don't you, don't you, Chris? You, you know, you see different um, yeah. styles that you can, which are cosmetic. It'd be nice to have ones yeah. where you could, um, you know, sacrifice a bit of speed, for example, by having a slightly elongated body on a, you know, like a, like a viper or something like that. Uh, you know, so you get a little bit more flexibility in those things. That would be nice. Do, does the ship kits actually alter the way to the vehicles now or is it no no it's purely cosmetic it is cosmetic, it is just, yeah, yeah it's just a nice thing um there's you know nothing to, I, I it would be nice if they have some kind of aerodynamic effect you know uh you know when, when we get down onto atmospheric planets that would be pretty cool so oh, have i got my lights on yet i'm gonna flash my headlights on yeah. try not try not to but i can still see that scratch there I can, yeah. oh i can't get it out you can, yeah yeah oops <laughs> Oops. No amount of teacup will solve that. And you can see poor old Bessie here. She's she's a little worse for wear, bless her. I'm I'm sporting the the brand new uh, wireframe paint job, but uh, yeah, she is a little bit beaten up. I've I've taken her to Colonia and back a few times. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a little bit thing, and I think it's 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 high time I, we we get back to the bubble. I mean, are you planning on getting back to the bubble with that account you're running now, or is that the I plan? Stay out a bit. You're going to say it a little bit. Get, the other plan is to get me the other one back ASAP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, the quick. one at Beagle Point, about thirty thousand light ways years from here. So, <laughs> oh, crikey, it's a it's a fair road trip. I've, yeah, it is a fair old trip. I've been. Doing different things at the, I've been doing a bit of that. Then uh, the aliens, and I've started a new account as well. So <laughs> I've been messing about. Mm -hmm, it's one way mm -hmm. I can just go and do anything. You know what? Like exactly. Got yeah. Wars and I don't. You know, uh, uh, and I need another count. I want another big account at, at the bubble. Yeah. Basic because, like what Sam D. I've got. My main was never to get me two big accounts. Away from the bubble because I tend to help the truckers a you lot do, with yeah, yeah yeah like escorting players in who's <laughs> been out on expeditions and that but I can't do that very good now with the other three commanders yeah yeah I understand <laughs> the, that the, yeah the other one with the NAS bit I've got a little it's like role playing thing the, the idea with that one is if I get destroyed I've got to start a new game I oh. can have one ship mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so the Proper hardcore mode. If I buy mode. another one, <laughs> so if I, if I buy one, the other one's got to go. <laughs> ah, that's so cool. It's, that's cool. So obviously, I try not to get in fights with that one, but it, I say it, it's pointless going to do the engineering stuff in case I do get blown up. It's just a lot of time wasted where I could do, to do it on something else. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's, it's too much of a commitment for the uh, for the risk in, in, involved, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I just want to keep it like that. That's why I don't. Yeah. I don't want real. I want to put the, the fifth account mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to build that one up. I can help truckers with that one as well. Yeah. Or do what I want with it. It's just to get on the conda and just help help out that way. So, because it, you know, you never know. One account might be like is that bigger point. One is it Sajé and I've got nothing to. Well, she can really call a combat ship at the bubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, also, a couple of things in the chat there. I'm just going to go back up. But Smintley, greetings, Commander. Nice to see you there. Uh, DJ Tartan saying they'd like to inform us that the new aliens are hostile. They commit the hostile act of ripping you out of witch space, which is hostile, just like normal interdiction. So <laughs> that justifies the hostility, does it? Okay. <laughs> Okay. No, they just want to pull us out to our place just to say hello. They just exactly. They just want hugs, like Prime Nine saying. That's all they want. They want hugs. Um, just to scan back up really quickly, Carakino to put a good thing up in there. Uh, I'd love to still uh, still love to see some classical Thargoid shaped vessels, um, like the ones in FFE. Um, maybe it'd be possible somewhere down the line. Uh, you've read somewhere that there are two kinds of Thargoids: ones that hate us, others that don't. Uh, yeah, that. I mean, Drew Wager on his site now, which I think was down earlier on today. He kind of posted up some new. Uh, he updated his blog entry about Thargoids um, and immediately took his site offline, I think, because of the traffic. Uh, it may be back up now, but if you check out on his blog, he does have a pretty good breakdown of it. So you're talking about there's, there's, there's uh, three distinct 
kind of, I don't know what you would call them, like subcultures within uh, the known uh, Thargoid race, which are, you know, the Thargoids that we know of, you've got the Orsarians and you've got the Klaxians, so you've got the three kind of uh, groups uh, within, the, within the, that overarching physiology of particular types of alien, you know, slight differences between them, just like humans have lots of slight differences and, and groups that bubble up. But anyway, it's all on his blog, he's, he's got some really good stuff on it, so I, I, I encourage you to go check that out on uh, on, on his blog. Um, Scepter! Greetings, Commander, nice to see you there in chat, buddy. Uh, uh, was that right earlier today about a small war? Was, was there a war breaking out somewhere? Oh dear, oh dear, yeah, it might, it, it, things might turn out for the worse. <laughs> Humans and their desire to poke things with pointy sticks. That is going to be the death of us all, I believe. Yeah, we've been invented. you got the Federation versus the Empire now, and then we've got somebody else, so it's like a three-way war. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to be pretty chaotic, I think. It's going to be... I don't uh, know where the lines fits in. <laughs> Well, that's, I mean, that's, you know, that looks, when you look at it that way, you know, the, the Thargoids and the, uh, and the Klaxians, you know, that, that could be like the, the Feds and the Imperials, and then, you know, the Orsarians are like the Alliance, you know, they just kind of, you know, yeah. sit on the side. Um, speaking of Alliance, actually, there was the, uh, the Alliance uh, community goal was uh, passed this week, isn't it? Let's see if we can uh, get that up on the newsletter, newsletter 156. Uh, I'm going to scooch right to the bottom. Let's go through it in random order today. Uh, why not? Um, uh, the, the, there it is. The planetary outpost construction. The Alliance campaign succeeded this week, uh, which is in the California Nebula, which is excellent. I'm going to have to go visit this one uh, because I discovered a couple of things out in the California Nebula. Me! It's got my name on it, so I gotta, I gotta go out there. Um, but first, I've got to get back to the damn bubble, though. So I think I, I best be plotting a route, haven't I? Really, uh, let's let's be looking at. Do you think I should go directly back? Or do you reckon I should make? I think I should make a stop at the uh, the old Sacagawea. Um, I can never pronounce that one. The the one halfway. So Chris, you're going to be staying out here. I think I'll, I'll plot a route now, and we shall uh, we shall part ways at this juncture. But I'm sure I will see yeah, you again yep. soon. No, do you want me to come with you for a bit? Uh, if, if you, yeah, if you'd like to follow along, yeah, yeah. sure, yeah. yeah. follow along. It's just that I'm just staying around here, just messing about, that's all, so... Cool, let's go ahead with... I mean, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to bring you back, but it's, I'm, not, I'm saying I'm getting the other one back first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't blame you, don't blame you. So I say goodbye to the Crash Nebula. Yeah. Did you say you wanted to visit something... Land, or the planet... At, where, the, where you can see a new, neutron star. Uh, I, I did fight. It, it was on the way over here. It's a few thousand light years out, I think, from here. Oh. So it's 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 okay. I've got some screenshots. I got. I'll I'll render up the screenshots later and I'll put them out on Twitter. It'll be really really cool. Yeah. Um, Abacus, greetings. Nice to see you there, buddy. Hopefully, uh, your dad's uh, getting better, mate. I hope, I hope so. Fingers crossed. Uh, so DJ saying, uh, might live out of sync with us in which... What, what are you talking... DJ, or, you're, what are you talking about? Here we go. They live in a what? different dimension, a parallel universe? What? 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 Tin foil hat wearing nonsense. <laughs> we need lots of tin foil tonight, I think. What jump range have you got in your... Uh, at the moment, hat. I think... Looking at about, oh, hang on, let me let me check the panel. Yeah, forty four at the moment, up to fifty one if I'm fully fueled. Uh, if I'm not fully fueled, so fifty one. It's not bad. It's not bad. Hundred and eighty on a on a neutron boost, which is pretty good. I'm two hundred on neutron neutron boost. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Snoz, it's not. See, the problem is, Snoz, you're just you're just too too nice. You just you know. <laughs> you think he actually? He actually stuck up. Snoz actually stuck up for me on the new, on the on the on the Facebook. I was <laughs> yeah. having a bit of fun with, fun with Psycho Cow. Great guy, he isn't he? So. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is. Actually. Prime Nine saying he thinks the tinfoil hats are wearing tinfoil hats. <laughs> like, oh. 
Yeah, I, I have broken my FSD. I have really broken it. I got 78% damage on my FSD. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a long trip back, isn't it? This is... Have you got AFM? No. Does, does Colonia sell them? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't think it does. I, I did get over there and I checked it. Um, but going... Because, I mean, I, well, I, I'm just about to jump. I'll show on the, on the galaxy map, it, actually. I, I marked up a whole bunch of neutron stars uh, at about 170 light years apart. Um, and I, I'm now calling that the, the N11. It's like the M11, but it's the neutron highway, so it's the N11. Um, and it you know goes between Colonia and the Crash Nebula. I'm, I'm, I'm officially naming that up today. That's what I'm, I'm going to call it. Uh, so <laughs> but I, I put that on the galaxy map and I thought, oh, that's great. I jump, 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 jump across. Literally took me half an hour to get back to you. Um, and then I realised that yeah, I'm doing a percent damage every time I'm I'm going across these things. And I didn't realise, of course, that I've then done so much damage to my FSD that it's it's pretty much malfunctioning in like every other jump. <laughs> Oops. Oh dear. Oopsie. Silly crash. But never mind. Never mind. I don't think it's gonna take long to get back. It's it's fine. If you've got a jump range that long, you can get back in 12 hours. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's, 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 it's pretty good. It's, I, I, can, I can get it. Um, what's that? DJ's like, check this. It's peering into the Thargoid warp gate. It's looking into another universe. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, the Let's see if we can get this. Is this Malik? This looks like Malik. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's try and get this up full screen for everyone to look at. Um, yeah, so you may have noticed from the video when when the when the ship approaches that that final vector when it's about to crack open a, like a, a wormhole um it's there's like, it's like the yellow kind of uh, energy tendrils go out in front of it uh, and then it starts splitting open almost like a cloud it looks a lot like the old school technology you see on the capital ship so i think there's a lot of similarities with that so it's just, it's a different way of getting into hyperspace sort of thing lots of back and forth about is it hyperspace is it which space is it you know there's been lots of discussions about that today as you can imagine um but it's roughly the same thing i mean it's all wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> You'd be watching too much Doctor Who. Is it? Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, you can see. I mean, it kind of looks like what you see when you're when you're going through hyperspace. So it's it's roughly the same effect you're seeing on the on the thing there. But yeah, it's it's a it's a really cool kind of uh, uh, distortion effect that you see that it starts breaking through and like that. And of course, you get at the moment you get the unidentifiable wake if you if you wake scan it. Because um, because I saw the uh, the first video in, uh, of. Uh, uh, Oh, let's 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 go to the top of the newsletter. Actually, let's uh, shout it out as we see it. For uh, DP Sayer was the first uh, commander on Xbox uh, to to find uh, or to encounter this particular act activity within the game. Uh, nice little screenshot there from Commander Meteor yeah, Meteoric Indigo. Yeah, nice, nice little thing. I think it's very nice. Very nice. Uh, Millstone Bar. Yeah, exactly. It's it's we. <laughs> <laughs> Which road? Diesel versus petrol. Exactly. It's a slight variation of the thing. On it's it's the same stuff. Um, uh, what's that? Prime nine say. Oh yeah, the the coding resources for that encounter went live with two point two. It's only been activated recently by events that he won't comment on. <laughs> <laughs> I said it's like, you know, it's, we've said this so many times before. It's it's player events which are driving the galaxy, and people don't believe it, but it just. I just slammed into a star, didn't I, Chris? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. Oh, this, this is going to be a long trip home. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm saying at the moment, I'm saying wake out of range. Yeah, I've, I've you just... Go that, you go that fast, because you've got a faster ship, ship than me, about 10 miles away before you even jump into the system. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, dear! Silly crash, silly crash. Let's let's, let's get that back. In. Um, oh, yeah! I just bounced off a star. It happens. Brian, greetings, Commander. Nice to see you, buddy. I'm just going into hyperspace now. Jumping. You just you. okay? Cool. <laughs> Oops. That's how far Oops. behind I am. <laughs> 
Let's see if I can come on. There we go. There's the escape vector. I've got a couple of heat sinks on here, so I can get myself out of trouble. And I know, yes, I know, I, I, I haven't got an AFM. I know, I know. I would love Fancy to game. see. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Fancy going exploring without an AFM? I know, I know. You told me to get one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, uh... day, you told me you gave yourself a planet your vehicle one and uh, and an AFM. And it was alright. I know, Here's I know. I've got, into planets. I know, I've I've got one in my DBX, but I I decided to bring Bessie with me. Bessie's got a bit more storage space because yes, as as someone uh, mentioned earlier on the chat, yeah, I was I was coming out to Colonia for Ed's thirty eight. I did help out with that and I thought well, I can get rid of the AFM and I can put some cargo racks in and I can help with the community goal and then I get to Colonia and it doesn't look like they've got AFMs in Colonia. So, damn it! Uh, so I couldn't put it back in. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm a sucker. I, didn't look, I was looking for different ship, ships, but I couldn't find the one which I wanted. <laughs> so, so I've gone and bought myself an Addy. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I got the um, I got the Type Six when I was out there um, just to do a little bit of mining and stuff. So um, yeah, yeah. Uh, watch it. Uh, are the alien introductions only supposed to happen if you're carrying UAs? Um, th there's been a lot of I should, I should say speculation about that. Um, a lot of people are reporting that it is possible for it to happen if you're just in that particular region of space, in the Pleiades region. Um, even if you don't have a UA, I think a UA increases the probability of it happening, as far as I can see. Module storage, module storage. Good. Yeah, I did. I I did realize that after I did put one thing into module storage. Actually, was um, I put in a uh, higher capacity uh, power distributor so that I, my, I could upgrade my mining ship, which I've, I've left out in Colonia, my mining Type Six, and I did ferry that over. I think it was something like was it six million or sixty one million? It was a crazy amount of money to transfer it over to Colonia, but. It now means I've got a reasonable mining ship in Colonia, so I can kind of get, you know, get in help with some of those goals. Uh, I was proud to say, Laverick, greetings, Laverick, nice to see you there. Uh, maybe, yes, no, no comment. Uh, that, I, I expect you've had a day like that, haven't you, Prime Nine? It's just been one of those days. <laughs> we should have to get you back on so that you can say lots of no comments. But yes, yes. Anyway, back to the, back to the newsletter on that. Yes, so. Uh, this is the new uh, the new oh, alert that you see on that conduit unstay where you get hyperspace conduit unstay where you get the nice little uh, warpy warpy effect. Uh, it's not actually in that first video. You don't really see it. I won't spoil everything. Um, a lot of people are going out there and experiences and stuff. But you get kind of like a yellow effect as the as the hyperspace uh, wormhole starts to collapse, uh, and then you, boom, you get dumped out. And you do get dumped out between. The locations where you uh, uh, were jumping to and from, just like in the original game, literally in the, in the void between the two stars, which is really really cool. I like I like that that's uh, been done just like the the original games. Like. Um, Can you actually jump from there then to the planet again, or is it the end of game? You can uh, you can jump to another star as long as you've got enough fuel. Yes, you can you can then hyper jump back to another another star yeah you're not you're not completely dead yeah <laughs> it's not the end of it uh ice fire was just high predicted oh impressive experience yes <laughs> uh, as long as you got enough fuel yes as long as you got speaking of which mad dog <laughs> hello buddy <laughs> hi buddy oh we love you dog you know we love you <laughs> yeah i met him mate. it was it fantastic army he's a great guy it was good fun. It was it, good fun. It was brilliant. Well. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> What's that? You got? Uh, He's a legend. Him and Mad Dog and Toadie are two legends. <laughs> uh, what's going on? What's Kara in there? Uh, look at this. Uh, this thread is a little bit. Oh, but there's something that's interesting. Is uh, any other commander doesn't see? It? Okay, I'll bring that up in a second. I did like this. Um, which was quite nice, actually. Then, oh, let me put that on the side there. Uh, oh, I haven't crashed into another star of it. No, it's okay. Um, see, I'm living up to my name, dog. Don't worry about it. Everyone might take the gate of you because of that, but I just slammed into a star looking at the newsletter. That's living up to my name. 
crash into everything. There we go. Uh, yeah, nice little header in there. Speculation! <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, but yeah, there is a heck of a lot of speculation and stuff going around at the moment, which is, which is fun. It's fun. Uh, Miak is, uh, yes, or uh, Miak, uh, however you pronounce it, is not in the game with that name. It's, that is correct, DJ. Yes, that is one little thing. Uh, oh, there we go. That's, that's from the thing. Uh, yes, yeah. I, I did wonder where you were going with that, Karakina. Um, yeah, so Miak uh, was the, the name of the system. I think it was in Frontier First Encounters where you jumped to when you did the um was it the turner quest at the end wasn't it it was it was supposedly their their home world um and look at this he's actually gone to the real sector grid coordinates 371440 of course the frontier galaxy doesn't match the elite dangerous galaxy sorry so it's unfortunately you're not going to find anything out there which is nice, but it, it, it's it's nice that there there is kind of some references in there. Some of it fits together, but not all of it is the same. Again, I, I'll go back to what I said earlier on. I suggest that everyone goes and as as a look at um, uh, Drew Wager's blog. He's done a, a great breakdown of it. Um, let's see if we can get a get a actually for people. Crash. Yes, buddy. You're about seventeen thousand light seconds away, and I'm at full throttle. Oh, <laughs> Bessie, Bessie, she, she, you know, she might be a little bit battered, but she's, she's got some speed, mind. She's got some speed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let me, let me, let me just go back to about. There we go. Let's just put her in the blue a second. Give you, give you time to catch up. Um, let's see if we can find Drew's blog post, and we'll share the link with everyone on there because it's, it's well worth a read. He does, he does do a pretty good um, uh, write up of the. Uh, Oh. The Thargoids. Here we go. It's directly on his blog thing. There we go. So we can go there. Oh. Let's make that a little bigger. I've got to be on my best behaviour today anyway. Oh? I mean, bosses might be watching. Oh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fan <laughs> fans of Elite? <laughs> well... I told her about. I don't know if she's a fan of Lee, but I told her and she said she might watch it. <laughs> she's been brilliant with me at work. Her name's Chris uh, Cheryl Pritchard. She's really brilliant. So <laughs> I just thought to give a shout out <laughs> if you didn't mind. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Like I said, it's it, it's great that it's kind of it's spread across so many different things. There's obviously there's there must be a fan of Elite somewhere in the BBC technology section because he's, <laughs> every time there's there's an, an, an alert about something like this, it's like boom, it's on BBC News, which is really really cool. Yeah. But um, this this is my favourite uh, section from uh, from Drew's blog post today. Actually, put up was this, this kind of summary of it. So going through the thing, got the the, the twenty eight fifties is when the um, uh, the war that was started between the the, the Thargoids. I mean, that's going back to the uh, the original BBC Elite sort of era. Uh, you've then got the the thirty one twenty five, which is where the uh, Thargoids started ripping people out of of, of hyperspace. And then thirty two hundred, obviously, is Frontier Elite two. That's that's my old stomping grounds. Um, and they just kind of disappeared for no apparent reason. And then 3255, that's kind of the Frontier First Encounters time period where it was made apparent that Inra, evil, evil Inra, created the mycoid virus um, to uh, kind of stop them from using their hyperspace. But of course that caused mass genocide because their hyperspace technology is based on their organic, uh, you know, they, they kind of evolved it, they grew it. Their technology is kind of techno-organic, which is, which is awesome, it's awesome. Uh, and now, now we're bang up to date now in 3303. Happy New Year, everyone. Bang, here's some eight-sided alien spaceships which are doing the things that appeared to happen almost 200 years ago. So, hmm. <laughs> well, you know, they... It could be another some creatures stealing their technology and getting to work. So many possibilities. That's the thing. Nothing yeah. has been confirmed or denied yet. We just we just yeah, don't, we know. don't know. We don't know. So yeah, go ahead, bookmark that. Uh, have a browse through that. There's lots more information in it. Uh, like I said, some of the uh, the information about the the, the Klaxians, the Orsarians, um, the appearances of the the ships in other. Uh, versions of the game and things like that, which is pretty cool, and uh, you know some some nice little details that uh, that Drew's put together in there as well. So definitely well worth a read um, if you're not sure on some of the details of things going on. 
uh, Mr. Jones is saying, not Thargoids! <laughs> it's Inra in disguise, arms like noodles is saying. <laughs> Octagonal space hugger fish. Yeah, they're just, they're just like big jellyfish. Bessie. Bessie! That's my shit, that's Bessie! This is this is Bessie. Bessie has got me all the way to Colonium back multiple times, and she's she's looking a little worse for the wear now because the the paint is is falling off slowly. But uh, I refuse to fix. It's a badge of honor that destroyed paintwork just shows how much hard work she's put in. Well, you'll see my asp. Is uh, <laughs> <laughs> have you, have you ruined your asp? <laughs> well, basically, basically, it's. Got no paint left, I don't think. <laughs> Just completely I, I was doing well on that ship, then I got to the, this system, it must have had two suns. Mm. I saw them on the system map. Oh. And there goes to hyperspace out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The other sun in the screen. So when I went and go to pointed, I. And it says, I join, you know, when it starts going to hyperspace, the countdown, all of a sudden me, it was seating up. I thought, what's going on here? Oh, because you were too close to the other one, was it? Yes. Oh, oopsie. So, I actually went out of hyperspace and into Supercruise, rather. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Then, I had to. I couldn't, it was a no direct line to, so I had to take an eight, eight damage on top of it, so it took 17% damage on, on me all, <laughs> <laughs> before, before you stopped me, so I had to go around the sun, taking it, then powered out. Yeah, yeah. It. Well, that's why I ended up putting the heatsink launcher on here because it was, you know, it's that kind of emergency. Oh dear, you know, get you out of those situations, that thing. Like, um, I'm only good at doing doing that. Mm, yeah, yeah. Oh, Laverick's put a good thing. In. Um, one, uh, they they don't look like the Thargoids from the earlier games because they float like 90 meters. Yeah, so so in the earlier games, the Thargoids kind of flew just like a UFO, like a flying saucer. You know, they kind of. You know, went horizontally as you can imagine the disc like. But I, I like the way these new ones do. It just makes so much more sense from like an like organic point of view. You know, uh, thrusting just like a jellyfish would. You know, with like that 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 trail. Of, yeah, like uh, Andy's saying, they're like fluid ammonia, kind of like uh, warping behind it, sort of thing, which is really really cool. I love the effects, everything built on top of it. Um, but yeah, it does it does look and move in a different different way. But I think that works. I think it it works really well. Uh, Karakian has said, maybe it's only a Thargon. And the real surprise is when the mothership comes and shows <laughs> That would be... That's, <laughs> that's not going to be a screen. That's going to be the opposite. I'm going to be squeeing in the opposite direction as fast as Bessie will take me. <laughs> yes, get, get out. Get out of there. Uh, which system have you gone to, Crash? Because me, the automatics hadn't kicked in on the hyperthrust. <gasps> I, I, I don't I don't know I'm just I'm just gonna scan this innocuous looking planet which may or may not be an earth-like world and then um, I... <laughs> first one to scan it claims it it's mine it's my okay <laughs> you can, you can have it all oh, so I, I'm joking I'm joking I just I just like oh it's like oh you've you've skipped ahead of me I think oh no 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 you're still I'm behind yeah. You. yeah just just behind me so it's I'm doing a manual one because uh it won't, ah, I see. Okay. automatically go, so... <laughs> okay, okay, so I'm in, in the highly uh, pronounceable EOC Fly Me Dash F D12 Dash 3587. <laughs> Actually, on the way to the... from the... where we met up, from the Colonia, I found a, a system with two air flight worlds and a water world. And the water world was actually... 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes flight away. Oh, crikey. <laughs> it's like crikey. 300. I thought, it looked like another Earth wheel, but it's one that was the water wheel, so. <laughs> but that's the problem, isn't it? They, they, some of them, they look so similar. I hate the little, the, the metallic ones, the high metal content worlds, which have got like that, yeah. that dark surface and then the brown surface. And it's like, under the right lighting conditions, it's like, is that an Earth-like, or is that, you know, it's, it, it looks like it's got an atmosphere. It's like, argh. 
Um, oh, Prime Line just said it's uh, a good thing. It's like, you want to flee? That's a bold assumption that your FSD will still be working. <laughs> Not only that, but can I actually go somewhere where they can't reach? <laughs> right, I'm. Uh, I've, I've lost track of where I was going. Actually, let me. I'm just gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna be really naughty, and I'm just gonna scan the earth. Like, sorry, I, it, it's there, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna run away. Ah, there we are. It's my earth. Like, got... <laughs> not if I get home before you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a race. It's a race. It's a race. No, you're not gonna get there. You're not gonna get there. No, uh, I say I've got one to get the other one. The oh, other commander, yeah, yeah, the other commander. Right, let's get to the next one. That's gonna. Um, Jusen, greetings. Oh, yeah, no, I'm actually, I'm, I'm heading back. Let's. Uh, oh, I've wrong map. There we go. I always press the wrong map. I am heading well, back. Did I am just. Did you say that's an earth like? It was yes. <laughs> I'm just going to scan it first. Yeah, go, on, go, on, go get it, go get it. Um, yeah, so we're... Might as well get the second discovery on it. Exactly, it? yeah. It's it's, it's it's a nice bonus. It's a nice bonus. Um, yeah. Osric, yeah, Osric's got a good point there. Yeah, the, the planets make different sounds based on their type as well. Yes, I know. I should listen to them. Yeah. I, I just... And it, I'm, I'm rubbish at that sort of thing. I just look at the type and normally if it, I think it... Nine times out of ten, it is it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 pretty obvious. I mean, it's just it's as you say, it's those metal metal, the metal ones. ones. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. that's that's what I do tend to listen. Most of the time, it's like I kind of I, you can just see visually which ones are one. But every time it's one of those, it's like right. I'm just going to turn the turn the audio up really loud, and I'm just going to sit there and I'm just going to listen to a second and like, yeah, yeah. That's definitely that's definitely one of those. <laughs> you know, you get subtle differences. Crash. Yeah, mate. Crash. How how close was you when you scanned it? Uh, about a hundred light seconds or so. Well, I'm twelve light seconds, and it's not working. You can't scan it. No. Mm. Seems. Shan't say. I'll just. Yeah, maybe, maybe drop from the wing or something. Maybe is it or. Uh... Might have dropped. I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, Sean's saying the Thargoids are like Heineken Largo. They can reach places our FSD just can't reach. <laughs> Do I get? Do I get it automatically when you scan it? Uh, if you if if you were in the yeah if you were in the system when I finished yeah. scanning it. Yeah, I must have it then. Oh, okay then. Yeah, yeah, that's fine then. Cool. Exploration co-op. But it, say, but, it's, but it says un unexplored, still on mine. Odd, but you've got the data. <laughs> Hold okay. on, so I'll just go to system map. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, just refresh it. Something. Which one is it? Uh, number, I think it was five. Five. We've got another one. What might be an Earth-like world? Do you notice the one on six? Is that? I, I, it looked like a water world to me. Do you want to? Do you want to grab it? Oh, I'll see it. Yeah, go on, get, yeah, go on, go on, go on, grab it. Yeah. You have the Earth-like, and I have the water world. Cool, cool. I don't know. I don't know. I'll say because I had trouble. I've had trouble with your iPad launching onto your. Oh, we're trying to find right? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I might, might be something to do with the wing. We could cancel the wing and wing up again. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's it's... a bit far out to be messing about with. That is, it's uh, it's good four thousand light years away. So nah, that's right. Uh, oh, DJ's right, so. DJ's. Uh, oh, sorry, there's a couple there. Uh, he said. Uh, there has been a Thargoid interdiction in the game before. Remember when the Jax log said they <laughs> they were singing when they came, and he was ripped out of hyperspace. Yeah, exactly. See, I've been saying this for months. I've been saying high predicted. Hashtag high predicted. How long have I been saying that? <laughs> people, people didn't twig. Uh, Karakina, uh, when you go exploring, when you go into the system app, you don't listen to the sound, but you base your choice of the planet uh, based on the distance and the type of star. One one AU from. Or solar system. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what is that roughly? Is that I forget what an AU is in light seconds. Isn't it something like fifteen hundred light seconds, or is it less? I, for, I forget. I forget the calculation. But yeah, the the, the star type. If it's a um, a G type star, uh, or the co the cooler stars, you tend to get better planets closer to it. It's basically it's, it's, it's a calculation of the Goldilocks zone, isn't it? You're kind of you're talking about I predicted. <laughs> I had a premonition uh thank you prime nine yeah i i knew i was going to get that wrong i didn't want to say it yes 500 light seconds for one au 
I, I, I had fifteen hundred in my head for some reason. I should know it off by heart by now, but there we go. <laughs> I'm a bit more of that. I'm coming to you. <sighs> What's that elaborate saying? <laughs> like caroling third voice, yeah. Going around, knocking door to door, singing to people, pulling them out of hyperspace, singing to them, expecting a few credits to be thrown their way for caroling. It's, it's just the time of year, elaborate. That's the trouble. These 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 aliens hoping to make a little bit of cash on the side. Oh. 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 Okay, I s that's freaking me out now. I saw a lot of yellow in my hyperspace for a second then. <laughs> I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm trying to catch you up. Okay, yeah, sorry. Let me, I'll, um... Yeah. No, I can't scan that planet at all. I'm going to go, yeah. go back to it later on. Yeah, yeah, no so, worries, no worries. Um, marked, so. I will stay in this system for a second. Let's go. Oh, look at this one. I'm about two systems away. I'm just getting, topping up with fuel as well, so... Uh, Huggy Monster say, "Oh, crikey, that is a good question. What player action now do I think needs to happen to further the story? Oh, my goodness, that is a very good question. Um, I think it may have already occurred in the in <laughs> from the videos that I've seen. Some people have already done some things which may have triggered the next set of events, uh, but it might just take a little while before they actually." Appear, um, <laughs> Prime Nine. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, a few, a few years working on Elite has taught you more about astronomy than you ever expected <laughs> to try and learn. I was a bit. I mean, I, I was the same way about um, uh, Kerbal Space Program. Actually, I ended up learning so much from like orbital mechanics and things like that just from playing that game. Um, that you just can't read. It's like you you try and like read things about trying, you know, like, learning some of these things. Like you just can't grasp it. It's like as soon as you have some physical thing that you can just play with and you can toy with it and uh, and practically mess around with the parameters of, it's like having a Lego set. It's like the difference between reading a manual on constructing something and actually having Lego. It's a complete different way of, uh, of learning and it just works so much better for me. So, uh, love a bit of Kerbal Space Program. Did, did Scott Manley or Obsidian Ant do something on the orbits of the Elite Dangerous and said how close they are to real life? I think quite a few people have done that actually. Yeah, there's there's been yeah. some some really great time lapse videos where people have you know physically yeah. moved around in orbits and things like that with like flight assist off and stuff like that. I think it was Scott Manley. So Scott, yeah, Scott Manley done some some great yeah. videos on it. Yeah, yeah. It, it was yeah, be so because of him that I found Kerbal Space Program and ended up spending hundreds of hours, hundreds of hours yeah. on that game. But he did say something about the smaller planets might not be possible on the smaller planets. Yeah, yeah, just based on the, the scale and the maximum velocity of the ships and things like that. Yeah, there are some yeah. limits to it. Um, what's that? I, I've missed missed the chat on that. Uh, XKCD? Are we talking about the what-if things, is it? Oh, is someone... Someone deciphered the sounds, is that said? <laughs> A Karakino, I thought that was. I thought, looking at the chat, Jell, I thought someone had actually managed to decode the sounds on there and say, like, Thargoids. <laughs> Not saying it's Thargoids, but it was Thargoids. I'm starting to get that. I need the crazy hair. I've got the beard. I've, you know, I just need the crazy hair. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Sentinel, I do like a bit of Lego action. I just can't reach the. Let me see if I can reach my. My, my, the lovely Mrs. K bought me this. Oh, bought me a Lego set for Christmas. I was like a big kid. I was. <laughs> I, I do like a bit of Lego. Is, is Fiery Toad in the chat? Uh, I don't know. Um, he might be talking to DJ, actually. I know DJ uh, was hoping to get a couple of people on it. I might be popping over to DJ later on uh, to have a continued chat with him and some speculation. Um, yeah. Uh, what's that? You can. Oh yeah, that's it. Yo, Yo Bros uh, said it there. Yeah, so he, he did it on the. It was on the smaller moons. It was possible. It was on the larger planets. You can't do it because you can't get the, the uh, escape velocity required. Yeah. There we go. Minute. Oh, I got you. I see. I'm You're still, right. Uh, I still. 
I'm still having trouble, so scanning planet, so... Oh, okay, no problem, no problem. <laughs> no problems. Just got five, five light seconds away from one and... <laughs> it's still... Oh, it's, yeah. It's a pain. Still not. Pain. Lego Tech... I must admit, Ian, I was a bit of a classic Technic snob for a while. I didn't like this new style with the rounded off ends and on the bars and things like that. I just couldn't like it. And I've played with a few of the sets now and it's like... Yeah, actually, I quite I quite like the new style. I like it. Dynamics. Greetings, Commander. What I really want to see is these Lego sets for Elite that are on the Lego Ideas site at the moment. If if, if anyone hasn't seen them, go to Lego Ideas. Have a search around on on there for for Elite, and there are some really really great things. I think one of one of the team from uh, FDev themselves has made the SRV, which is really really cool. But there are a couple of the ships available as well, which uh, I think Lego Elite sets would be absolutely fantastic. Really, really like to see that. Yes, XRG, I did see that actually. Lego Boost, yeah. Uh, mini Mindstorms. Yeah, oh, it's working now with you. Okay. Um, but it's not planning. So I might have been just smidging too far away from that one. <laughs> Snod that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm not old enough for Lego Technic. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> It's great. Prime, yes, I recommend that. Take some time off. Get the Lego out. Absolutely recommend it. Ooh. It's well worth it. T Timer accent, yeah. I would buy Lego Elite sets. Yeah, I would buy Lego Elite sets as well. I'd love a Lego Elite sets. We can have a, yeah, if, I, if Lego Elite happens, or if someone can make the instructions to build like a Lego Cobra or something like that, a uh, Technic. I'll have to do like a live build live stream. I'll get the green screen set up and I'll do I'll do a creative stream instead. And I'll, I'll I'll build it on the live stream. That'd be great fun. <laughs> Can't understand this. Crash. I just scan the sun. <laughs> oh. No, they let you do that. It's weird. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just wondering whether you're scanning stuff and it's hasn't told me. Of, yeah, you know, so it's, it's telling it's me that you that I've it done it. Let right me thing. do it. Yeah. 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 It's not to, nothing to worry about anyway, so <laughs> just in it for the ride. Gets me a bit, bit closer with them, which I've got to go closer to with this one as well, so <laughs> I'm getting them both home at the moment, so let I me mean, know what I'm saying, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've had that happen actually, Prime. Yeah, I've ended up snapping and shearing off bits of Lego from, um, from various things. <laughs> things that Lego shouldn't do. I, I did, I think my, my favourite thing that I made myself without instruction was a, a working replica of the drop from Oblivion. Because um, I, lo I love roller coasters as well. I'm, I'm a real big uh, coaster fan. Um, so I made the, the, the drop section with like the 90 degree uh, runoff at the bottom um, with the wheels, you know, the, the, the up stop wheels and everything on it so that it would, you know, it would go down the track neatly and everything like that. That was really, really difficult to do with old school Lego. I think that would be a lot easier now with the, the new Lego Technic style stuff, but um, with the older stuff, it's really difficult to get it right. But um, I used to play with a, I used to play with a, with when I was a kid with a Lego and that so <laughs> have, you, have you ever been Universal Studios? Yes, yes. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about the old crowd? What do you think to that one? The whole oh it's yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. I love it. Love it. Yeah. That initial kind of boost out of the thing. Really excellent. Yeah. Lego. Tistar. Oh, you made a little Lego Cobra. Oh, Tistar, you have to send me send some pictures, and we'll um, try and replicate it. Happy Sex just arrived in Maya. Nothing yet. Did you scare them off? Oh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I'm still right behind you, so... Cool. cool. Have, you, have you jumped out? Oh, yeah, sorry. I just jumped out at this point now. Just um, I, sh I shall fuel up in the next starting mission. I'm just about full. <laughs> cool, cool. Right here, I shall tank up and oh, there's lots of planets, lots of planets. Here we look. Oh, is that another Earth? Like it does look like there's an Earth like in this next one. Could be a water world. I haven't got the volume up loud enough to uh, to do it. There we go. Uh, right, so we need to get back to the newsletter, don't we? Let's uh, we've gone through that. 
speculation abound. Lots of further encounters, yeah, absolutely. There's been so many today, and I think we've gone on that. So, to continue with this, it's great. As I said, New Year 3303, uh, and next week, starting on the 10th, uh, Ed is going to be kicking off the Educating Ed sessions all over again. Uh, Tuesday the 10th, next week, 7 p.m. GMT, uh, Canon Part 3, which is rather suitably apt, considering what's been going on. So it's going to be poking around. I really hope that Ed, that Ed gets high predicted. I really hope that happens to him next week. It would be brilliant for that to happen in live. Um, uh, what's that? Happy Sack Repair isn't available. Uh, what's this? Obsidian Orbital has been UA bombed. <laughs> yeah, I kind of knew that would happen. I thought you'd been UA bombed anyway. Yeah, it's it up and down. I've seen it happen so many times. It's been UA bombed more often than it's not. I think so. It's uh, yeah. Um, yeah. People are shipping metalized out. Oh, hopefully, yeah. We can clear that. Up. Uh, post a link to the newsletter. Yes, absolutely, buddy. No problem. Out. Let's go ahead and grab that. Yeah. Sorry, oh, Saturnines beat me too. <laughs> Sorry, and I posted the wrong one. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Saturnine. Yeah. I know. Thanks oh. for having me as a guest. Oh no, no, it's, lo it's lovely to have you, mate. You know, it's, uh, I haven't been able to chat to you for a while because we've been uh, so busy with Christmas yeah. and everything. So. Yes. Yeah, well, I've been busy. Then when you've been slack, and you've been busy when I've been <laughs> slack, sort of thing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Palin's base, yeah, you can go down, uh, Andy Pipkin's right there, you can go down to the, the base on the surface, repair on that. Yeah. Uh, not too late to join Ed's 8, uh, actually, Millstone, yeah, you remind me, let's, let's jump on over to that, so the, um, as we were saying, uh, the first phase of the Colonia expansion initiative was completed this week, and Ed's 38 just missed out, 11th position. So close, but the top ten. So congratulations to everyone uh, who is backing the uh, the groups in the top ten. There, those top groups are going to be represented in Colonia, which is really really awesome. But it doesn't. It's not all f over for the p positions in eleven to twenty. Those groups, they do stand a chance. So let me make it a little bit bigger for everyone to to read the group names on there. Um, uh, I went with ads. Yes, I did. Yes, I absolutely. That's, that's why I had to come back out to Colonia to help Ed's Ed thirty eight. So these groups on here, they will be getting. The, they will be bubbling up into the second phase, and they will be um, uh, second chance, second chance. So it's, it's all, in it all or nothing. Oh, yeah. oh it took ten, mind you, because I was in that much of a rush. I thought. I only, I only had a full. Yeah, I only had, like I said, I, I, I kind of ditched the AFM and then just chucked a couple of cargo and just ran. It's like, I've got to get there this week. If I don't get there this week, I'm going to miss it. And I just I rushed out there. I could have done it with my other cat one, but uh, it was like seven days. It, it's a long trip. 7,000 miles away by then, so I thought, well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly with the other one when that one comes back, but well, that one's about 50,000 still from Seoul. <laughs> 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 that is the problem with Beagle Point, isn't it? It's like, I'd really like to visit Beagle Point, but it's like, once you're out there, it's like you can rule yourself out of doing anything else in-game for about three or four weeks, you know? <laughs> it's <Right>. like... <laughs> That's why I've got five commanders. Exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so, yeah, okay, carrying on with the live streams on the thing, yeah, following up from uh, from the one on Tuesday, on Thursday, then the uh, CQC with the devs is kicking off as well, so live streams are back in full swing this week, so a well-deserved holiday break for the uh, for the guys at Frontier. I think they've had a, a fantastic uh, Christmas period. There's been so many great things that's happened for me. They had the charity live streams, which are absolutely fantastic, and I must say, uh, I know it's not specifically elite related, but again, congratulations for smashing through half a million sales on Planet Coaster. Yes, which is really, really good to see as well. It's uh, getting the uh, the credit it deserves there. Absolutely, it's a great game that is. Yeah. And it, I got the Roller Coaster Tycoon Three. Mm. That was good, but this is, seems to surpass that one. Oh, it's yeah, it's so many little details in it. It's uh, Mrs. K did come up uh, earlier on. It's like it's like, oh, can you play Planet Coaster? Like, okay, let's let's play Planet Coaster for a little bit. <laughs> but it, it is addictive. It's really really great fun to play. Abacus, yes, let's colonize the new region. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's it's great that it's being done. I love the fact that it's you know kind of we can keep contributing to it as well. So. Do you th ever do you think the the frontier kickers out of the bubble? Uh, 
Or was that a speculation <laughs> <laughs> I can I can neither confirm nor deny any any of that business. I I <laughs> that many rumors. It's I mean the 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 way that these things work, I mean there's there's no reason why it wouldn't be possible for there to be, you know, the major event which changes things like that. You know, when you look at the, yeah. the power play, I, I see Everything in Powerplay is like a test bed for those kind of features that you know systems can change hands and, and, and adapt uh, their 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 base kind of economic values and all that kind of stuff. All of this stuff can shift and change based on a couple of uh, political change. You know, in in the power group. So, you know, if there's a big all-out war going on right on the border of a system, you can see in a board and get a, 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 a particular system getting completely abandoned or something like that. Yeah. You know. I was on about the aliens. <laughs> well, yeah, well, like I said, you know, the way that Paraplay works, that that could work for yeah. other species to come along and become yeah. become a power that you see on the galactic thing. <laughs> then again, we're blues in our own world, weren't we, Soul? <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. So it's... <laughs> <laughs> Prime 988, you gave two copies of Planet Coaster to your friends for Christmas, and you've barely heard from since, so either they really like it, or they really hate you for destroying their free time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I got the, I'm doing that many stuff at the moment, I don't know what to play first, but Leeds always seems to be on number one. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got Planet Coaster, we've got World of Warships. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, so many so many games on on the go at it's, it's once and there's lots of things I want to do but oh, just not enough time to do it all. It's like playing Elite, isn't it? You get so many things in Elite. Exactly, there's so many, you know, I want to be everywhere, all of the locations, like I said, you know, I want to be in Colonia helping out there, I want to be back near the bubble um, helping out with, with what's going on now, you know, I want, oh, I want to be everywhere doing everything all at once and I need, I need more time. It's not necessarily having enough counts to do it, it's just having the time to physically do yeah. it, you know. It's just, yeah, it's just crazy. Got the two counts, one was meant to be a piracy one, you know, just a role play piracy, doing the bad stuff, just having a bit of fun, and the other, this one was made to keep clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Try then he got a third try. account to hardcore, then another one to help the truckers. Then I thought, I've got to have another one to just do silly stuff in. <laughs> I just went on the Christmas sale, and why not? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Speaking of sale, actually, we should we should jump on back onto the newsletter. So there's a spotlight in the thing. There's actually there's a couple of paint packs in here. I don't think we can see both of them. Let's try and get the you've got the sprint and the chase paint job packs. Let's get those. There we go. All right, let's get those two up on there. Uh, so yeah, so we've got the, uh, the kind of, I like this. It's kind of like a hot rod style. We've got this nice kind of. Uh, lines to it, I like that, and then you've got the uh, the chase packs on there, so a couple of different paint job packs for the SRV have been added in I noticed over the, the Christmas uh, period actually, I've missed a couple of updates on the store because there's been a whole bunch of them um, let's see if I can go back and I'll find a couple more of them uh, there's some really cool ones for the Beluga actually um, yeah, I've got a pack of that myself You got yeah, yeah, uh, let me get rid of the I've got a filter on here for the Cobra, let me there we go. Uh, so yes, we've got the Beluga United pack. I like that. Some nice stuff. So it's got two two variations in this in the color there. The Exp expedition paint. You've got the vibrant ones that came out for the uh, for the fighters as well. I don't think I've got those yet. Um, but of course, all of the the festive ones are now gone. Sorry, you can't get them anymore. But I did grab them really quickly. So I got all the wireframe ones for the other ships in it. But yeah, lots and lots of stuff on the store now. So if you want that that extra little bit of bit of flavor for your ship, it's there's it's great customization options on there. Well, we'll be back next year though, won't there? I think, yeah, <laughs> it might, might, might be a little, little, little bit, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, there, there'll probably be some more things next year as well. Yeah, there's popping up all the time, different ones, this and yeah. the other. Esben uh, Rose is saying, why water? Well, if you saw the last stream before the new year, <laughs> I'm just oh, I'm taking it easy after last time. Uh, I'm just checking through... 
DJ, it's been a massive surge of your yeah. There's been a massive surge in players. I think there was there was a a moment where the servers had a hiccup earlier on today, where there was a, suddenly everyone wanted to go to this place and and do this. So yeah, there's been a huge huge impact uh, of the, of this news today, which is really really great to see. Ian, you bought the Corvette paint job, so now you need a Corvette. I'm in the same position. I'm in the same position. I've got a cutter and a Corvette paint job, and I can't use them. I can't use them, but they look nice. <laughs> well, I've got both of them chips. <laughs> it's, uh... Pure vodka. No, it's definitely not pure vodka, Huggy. No. You know, a little b bet. Mm -hmm. Friendly, friendly competition, I should say. To get four elite. Was it? Oh. If I, get, if I get one elite in another account, does that count? <laughs> does that <laughs> count? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I've got. Yeah, I think. Oh. If that's if that's the case, Tony has already beat me several times over. I think. I think he's 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 he's, he's, he's triple elite in two separate accounts now. I think. Anyways. So. <laughs> I mean, I've got the. I'm close to doing one of the federation to the top tier, so 22%. Oh, excellent, excellent. No, not 22, 40 odd percent now, I think, so to get into the final rank, so. <laughs> <laughs> What's that Huggy Monster saying there? Is that there's still a lot of people that don't know about Leeton when they do that? It's what I've been saying all along. I mean, you know, when, when I. When, back when I was 12 and I never I never heard of the original game, you know, it's like when I found out about it, I was like, this is awesome, you know, this is the sort of thing I wanted. It's just that kind of getting the word out, getting people to know that it, it is an awesome game, you know, there is something in there you can enjoy. This, yeah. you know. I was lucky to have, have got the first Elite. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I really enjoyed that. So... Yeah, so you kind of, you kind of knew about of it. Favorite, one of my favourite ones is Commander Jameson, which the, the reason... You had a, your ship was then virtually invincible. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so you had 255 of everything. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Nice, 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 nice little sheet. I like, I like that. Song. Um, going back to the newsletter on the thing, sorry, uh, there is the, the, the other community goal. I don't think I'm going to get back in time for this community goal, but the uh, uh, Bologna's Gold Touch Systems have got a, uh, a call out for some various mater materials. I think it's Prezodium, um, here we go, Osmium, Prezodium, Methanol, Monohydrate Crystals, uh, because they are attempting to make deep space probes to probe the far reaches of the galaxy which is interesting a kind of a, a goal like that pops up around about the time that all of this interesting stuff is going on with uh, various aliens yes. <laughs> means, means everything time there's some happens it's something big and it then it dies down a bit then some else happens and it keeps, it's like a roller coaster ride. It's just, it? yeah, yeah, it's kind of constantly, constantly adapting and changing. It's a, you know, last time some cameras, I think it was a crashed ship. I was there the next day. <laughs> <laughs> You've got and it. I was trying to get, and I was trying to get hyperdicted this morning. <laughs> yeah, it kind of, it ebbs and flows. I mean, it was, you know, very. And the, they had server troubles, but. It's all clear now. Yeah, yeah. It's a sort of... You can play the game as long as you're in the same system. Yeah. <laughs> when yeah. you try to jump, you get you get partially away, and that's it. <laughs> Must be that many people trying to do it. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, there's, there's a huge impact of it like that. But it, you know, it's it's yeah. it's always going to be like that. There's going to, there's going to be periods, like quiet yeah. periods, where it kind of it kind of eases off and stuff like that. I mean, the biggest problem is. Um, how Frontier can keep up with the pace at which players are discovering things. It's that kind of, that balance that if it was too easy for players to activate the next part, um, it, it there ends up being too much of a gap and it's, it's, it's stagnant for too long. That is the kind of, the risk of it. That, uh, you know, like, it's, I think David said quite quite clearly in one of the live streams that they found the dead sites very very quickly weren't expecting uh, someone to to do that um, but then you know it's obviously it's taken quite a while for someone to find one of the crash sites and then this has been relatively soon after the crash sites that there's something like this has happened so kind of yeah. finding that um, 
uh, that balance between the, the enough of a gap between these events happening that's always going to be a challenge for Frontier I think uh, we're not getting game sound it might be very quiet so it doesn't overpower myself and Chris talking but I'll um I'll amp it up a little bit yeah it's definitely def there's definitely sound there's definitely sound coming through Snoz Mega Drive love Mega Drive <laughs> Meta Drive the Meta Drive story the new proportion so yeah I mean is that a, a kind of a hint at some of the stuff which is going on when you see the new or the you know the different engine technology that they're using. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prime Nine says there's, uh, there's piles of stuff added to both 2.1 and 2.2 that still hasn't been found. <laughs> yeah, lots of cool stuff out there. Can we ask him what like? <laughs> We can we can ask. I think we're probably get a no comment though. <laughs> I got a lot of that from Mark and Brooks and Fantastic Con. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, lots of things. Uh, well, good point. Um, happy sat. No, I don't. I don't know whether Frontier. I mean, maybe Prime can answer that one. I don't believe in this case it was something which was activated by Frontier. I believe well, that's in the right spot, isn't it? It's a K class star. It's a little far out from the Goldilocks zone, might be a little bit cold. Oh, let's go check it out. It looks like it's either a water world, could be an Earth-like with not very much landmass, but we'll try it. Um, yeah, so I don't think this particular event was triggered by a timer by Frontier. I believe it was just the right series of events happened um, and players were in the right location at the right time and it, and it kind of caused it to trigger, but maybe Prime9 can correct me on that. I don't believe the devs are um, confirmation. Feel, don't, so, so, sorry, Prime. I mean, don't feel pressured that you have to answer that. But I mean, I think mechanically, I think we, we've got an idea of how that should work from your end. I believe it's all driven by the players. The, the background simulation uh, waits for uh, waits for the players to perform certain activities. And I'm gonna uh, put the handbrake on. Uh, no, I've missed it. I've never known a game like this where it's it's like a living game, isn't it? It's not the, yeah, the story is constantly playing out and adapting, and you know that's the um, yeah. you know that's, that's one of the great things. That, like Drew Wager said about you know writing uh, the Premonition, which is coming up, uh, the the next novel. Um, it's fantastic that. We as players can kind of ah, it's a water world. I thought it was we, you know we can poke him, we can activate certain parts of the story, and and uh, you know Commander DP Sayer is is now going to get mentioned in the novel as as the person that made first contact uh, in thirty three oh three, which is really cool that we can kind of get ourselves involved in all these little stories on there. Um, yeah. Oh, Prime Minister, you don't actually know when the trigger was. It wasn't entirely automated. Uh, just avoid it's your responsibility, but it usually ends up with the yep, it works. You guys work out when and where and how and what it gets used. Yeah, so it's kind of a semi-autonomous, I think, isn't it? You kind of you you can set up the triggers on the server side, and um, you can either kick them off yourself or be player-driven. I, th I think that's something that we you know we we spoke about it before on how some of those things happen. So, but thank you, Prime. I appreciate the uh, confirmation. I'm right with you, Crash. Oh, I see you. I see you. It's my yeah. water world. It's my water world. It's mine, mine, it's mine. Mine, <laughs> mine, mine. It's mine. No, I'm here just for the journey. Yeah, I'm just it's wandering good. about peace. <laughs> I just came out here on a whim. I thought, oh, I'll go up, get there, double landing, meet up with you, and you know, and it's basically. I don't mind. I'm elite exploring. Yeah, it's, it's, so it, do it doesn't matter, does it? It's a good laugh. Zara, Zara Neil, but a good one. Though, so I hope a, a klaxon went off at, uh, at Frontier when it was triggered. On that thing. Was saying that. I mean, the the, um, the big red button, wasn't it? Which was was actually they programmed a big button to launch the game when it launched a couple of years back, which which was really cool. And it did actually work. David hit the big button and it activated the uh, the server upload. <laughs> Uh, what's that, Andy? Because it, what determines if it was either exports or PC that it will appear? I'm not sure if I follow on there. The only thing the ancients have not done is shoot at us. Well, they don't need to. I mean, they're obviously so powerful. They don't. They don't need to. Uh, if they want to shoot at it. It just pulls out ice of space, rendered our craft 
like they have done and just fire one shot. Exactly, yeah. It won't. It, I don't think it would last very long if they decided to uh, take a pop at us. Um, well, the good, the good sign is they aren't doing that. Yeah, yeah. And it's, uh, it's either the fact that, oh, we, we're not good enough to touch them so they're not bothered with us, or... <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it has said. I mean, Drew, Drew's confirmed it on his blog. I mean, it's just something which comes up quite a few times in in the lore and in in, in some of the the novellas and things like that. Is that um, what we considered the the Thargoid War of the of the of the thirty one hundreds was a little more than a skirmish to them. You know, they they are a lot bigger and more powerful and, and scarier uh, than than any other foe that we've we've seen so far. And they have been in space for literally millennia. They have, they have been in space a lot longer than us. So, yeah, it's kind of scary. Yeah. You don't want to be picking picking fights with them. But again, uh, I think someone's already mentioned in the chat as well. Actually, is that someone has already poked at them with a Corvette and it didn't even scratch their shield. So it's like. Yeah, I tried to tell these people. I tried. It's like it's like it's like the scene out of the Planet of the Apes. It's like you blew it up, you maniacs. You know. <laughs> Did they take one of the real big Empire ships or the Federation? It, it was a Corvette. Was it was it, Corvette. Uh, oh, you, you, you mean from one of the earlier storylines? Yes. Yes. So there was there was a couple of little storylines where there was a heck of a lot of wreckage found near. I think it was Akinar actually, right in the Imperial homeworld. Um, there was a destroyed capital ship found, wasn't it? A little bit, a little bit while yeah. back. Um, I don't know if that's connected, but if it is, <laughs> it's frightening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it it might be. I mean, it kind of it it fits in with the uh, when you look back at uh, what they can do. The fact that they can seem to hyperspace literally anywhere they want without uh, kind of limits is like we look at the human technology. There seems you know we have the limitations of the of the range that we can jump per uh, per activation. These things seem that they can jump in wherever the hell they want. They can jump out wherever the heck they want, and. Uh, got ridiculous amount of power when they can do it, so it's like, uh, crikey, you know, what's going to be able to stop them from just walking straight up to Sol and blowing the heck out of, uh, of the Federation homeworld sort of thing? It's like, <laughs> it's scary thought, it's scary, but it could it could well happen. Uh, I just... All these worlds, you have, a, you have an unknown artifact, you're jumping around, do the... Uh, oops, sorry, I missed that. Do the... Hang on, let me just... I don't want to crash into another star. I want to live up to my name twice in one stream. Uh, do the unknown ships high predict you uh, through high waking or low waking? You, you've got to be you've got to be in hyperspace for them to, to pull you out. Um, that's right! Greetings, Commander! Just come back to him for the chat on there. Um, <laughs> Mech Shadow Beast is asking a very good question. This is what I say, yeah. Hmm, in theory, could the shearing forces from hyperdiction cause that sort of damage to a capital ship? You don't say you mean like you mean like where uh, the 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 federal uh, leaders Starship One just kind of, you know, broke into pieces and how is it maybe maybe it's all connected? <laughs> Maybe that's somebody else, and it's exactly yeah. You don't know. Maybe it's it's the ones they were warning you of. Yep. <laughs> Nats oh Natsu, are you trying to get a high prediction? But I am so far away from high. I'm twenty thousand light years away from high prediction at the moment. I'm not going to be able to see one this time. But uh, I will be head back. We'll, we'll we'll do it. I think lots of people have seen it anyway. So you know, it's it's you know it's. Bandwagoning. I'm not going to jump on that bandwagon. <laughs> Digger, is that exactly three years after the Kickstarter? Yeah, because yeah, nice sense of timing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Nats, you went for four hours trying to get high predicted yesterday. You didn't get it. Damn it, Jeffrey. For, for an hour this morning to do, but yeah, I just couldn't, couldn't get it to trigger. To, no. Twenty thousand lighters? No, Paul Archer. I don't think I'm safe. As, as Prime was saying earlier on, you know, it's uh, 
don't think it matters what my FSD is capable of. These these things can seem to jump wherever the heck they want. Um, Jeffrey, yeah, I was I was talking to uh, talking to Drew earlier on actually, and he's uh, he's really chuffed. Uh, he has got hold of uh, DP uh, Sayer now, so uh, he will be going into Elite Premonition, which is going to be awesome. I can't wait to read that. It's going to be some really, really great stories, and lots of some cool groups from the community and, and players have, have made it into the book, which is uh, going to be really, really great. Nats, Are you in the book? Uh, I don't believe I've done anything significantly interesting of late, so no, I don't think I don't think I mentioned in there. Maybe in passing, as you know, as that, that annoying little bobblehead that won't stop squeeing, but you know. <laughs> well, he made triple eight. Well, uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Don't think that's significant enough for a novel, are they? Uh, Nats was oh, no. up until two a.m. <laughs> and then you got high predicted at three a.m. I thought a lot of people would be up late last night. I couldn't stay up late. I had to be up at six a.m. for work today. Damn it! Well, I've got to be up at five tomorrow. You're so gonna be. Oh goodness, goodness. Yeah, we will. I mean, we'll be wrapping up in about thirty minutes, actually. Um, that's all right. I'll be staying up until about eleven thirty anyway. Because if I go to sleep. <laughs> if I go sleep straight away, I will, I'll get up at about two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> just to, so, snozzles in. Just a thought: Are the people being interdicted by aliens pressing Control H in hyperspace? <laughs> yeah. it's, no, it's, it's, it's Alt F nine, isn't it? That was the Frontier shortcut, wasn't it? To do a forced misjump. <laughs> oh, Nats, you went out in an FDL as well. My goodness. What about the crash nebula? It's a nice little nebula. I don't think it, I don't think it's significant to be mentioned in the in the novel, though. <laughs> it's it's my little squishy. It could be the Anki nebula if I get back before you. We're <laughs> <laughs> all kidding. Here we are. Yeah. I've, I've already claimed it. I've already claimed it. It's already got my stamp on it. There we go. <laughs> I have, I've already done it. I haven't ah. noticed that, actually. Andy, Andy's... Uh, yeah, I, I went and grabbed that one, though. <laughs> the hype kept you awake at work today. <laughs> Ooh, Andy Pipkin saying, I'll say, anyone else notice that after you've run into the Thargoids, the pilot's hands start to change like they were infected? With some kind of virus. Ooh, that's worth a speculation alert. <laughs> uh, happy sack. Has anyone checked out the Polaris system yet? Um, I don't believe you can get into the Polaris system. I think uh, it is permit locked. Um, you know, I was chatting to some guys last night. Actually, they're asking me about a Cellus Primus, and I was thinking, I haven't been to a Cellus Primus since the beta, and I'm like, I can't remember. Uh, Polaris system permit, yeah, there you go. Which I'm not sure if you can get by going up through the Federation ranks. I can't remember whether you get it. Is it off a mission you get that one? Where the I think so. I think you have to get the Federation rank up first. Yeah. But yeah, I think um, Polaris, you don't get it until it's. Um, Oh, there we go. No, I can't get the system map on it either, on it. Yeah, so it's permit is it from a, <laughs> Is it from a particular planet as well you have to get that mission, or is it any? Oh, good, I, I haven't got it myself yet, so I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. I, I've, got, I've got a clue as to how it would happen. I, I mean, there's, there's loads of things I want to do and try, and I haven't gone down the path of all of the possibilities in the game yet. It's, it's, I don't think anyone could. Um, what about the Rigor sector? Ray, right, yeah, Rigor sector is still locked, as is Col Seventy. So, oh, Andy, is it? Are the yes, the the cannon thread is probably going nuts right now, isn't it? You're gonna. Um, in fact, I'm gonna have to watch that video back now, see if we can spot the uh, the the subtle little thing in there. Also, the Gamma Valorium is the main star in the Rigor section. Let's have a quick look at that. Again, I haven't been back there. I did. I did scout around the Rigor section uh, sector for a while, kind of checking out some of the um, permit lock systems in that region. We're about two thousand light years away from Galactic Midden. Oh, is he nearby? Yeah. Is that him there? 
It is! Get on mid! We have to give him a nod as we fly past. Shall we crash into him? Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boom! I, I, you know, I've got to live up to my name, haven't I? Got to, got to slam into him. That's, that's usually what happens when I, you know, when I meet up with someone out in the void. Well, Psycho Cow's good at doing that at the moment. Because, oh, bless him, bless him. Yeah, yeah. And he'll lost another ship the other day. <laughs> Uh, T Cork and yeah, I agree with that if the pilots are contracting a virus, they need to be purged for the needs of the many. Yes. How do you know? It's like you know, it's like you, I, you don't want to be in contact with these pilots now. If these pilots are going to certain stations and and spreading around, you know, is it is is, is it going to be the next thing from like the Serbius plague? You know. Oh, It's a hit Prino, yeah, you're right, Prino. I'm only living up to my name if I manage to land on what I crash into. Usually I do, usually I do. Something 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 big and flat like the, the bridge of an anaconda, you know, isn't it, Chris? Something something about that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Neil so, you know, I'm, it told me it'd take millions to repair it, so <laughs> Or like I, I did, can't do anything. like I like I did earlier on. Is that, that that planet that I said with the with the nice ring around it and the neutron star, which looked really good, and I wanted to get some nice screenshots. I'm heading towards it and realise that the the G counter is ticking up past two point eight Gs, and I'm thinking, oh, <laughs> luckily I spotted that. <laughs> so, <laughs> whoops. I mean, when I when I do the hypers, those jumps, I go to point two two light seconds away, <laughs> then head towards. One of the streams, then out the other way. Yeah. 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 Uh, but if you get a bit too careless and go a bit farther, another two, two, three points, you drop down. You have got to be really close. Yeah. Yeah. Let's scooch around so, here. I think. Yay! I think I've hit my I've hit my target for that. I think we've done a thousand light years. That's not bad. That's not bad. A thousand light years in the right direction. Well, that's good. And that's a thousand light years for bringing the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ka ching, ka ching, ka ching. There's one. There's one problem. We've got crash. Yes, mate. I won't be able to escort you back. Oh, that's no problem. No, <laughs> no problem. But you're well, unless you want to sidewind it. Is that, yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah, you're you're uh, you're heading back to Colonia now, are you? Or um... no, I'm following this. These are both of them are good. Colonia from the second one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Who's come from the bigger point? This one's going straight back to the bubble. Okay. Okay. The other one needs repairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Seventy-six percent hull damage. Oopsie. It's because of that star. Mm, yeah, that's what I think. I mean, it's like as much as I would like to uh, use the uh, the neutron highway to speed my route up a little bit. I, I I'm already getting FSD malfunction, so I'm a little bit worried about yeah. doing that. Um, and it's, well, it's quite a way to go. I won't if you're getting malfunctions. Yeah. And you haven't got any AFM. Mm-hmm. It's not going to make it worse. Exactly. And I got six thousand light years to go. I mean, when you look at it, that's only going to take me about six hours to get there. So, I don't think that's entirely bad. But we'll leave. Oh, I've just flown straight past the thing I was going to scan. I'm coming for it. I'm coming for because it. It's mine. It. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Uh, so X, X Payne said, I've not seen this series yet. There's two factions within the Thargoids. These are the Guardians, hence no shooting. Uh, is that is that the theory that's going around? I thought, well, in case you missed it, actually, if we got the um, let's get the blog blog post. Drew, Drew Wager's written up a really good blog post, actually. If you haven't uh, if you haven't seen the link, if you've only just joined the chat recently, I'll, I'll put it back in the link there. Um, But there's a very good write-up in there which talks about the uh, the multiple factions. Actually, three factions within there. You've got the, the Thargoids, the Claxians, and the Orsirians. I can never pronounce it properly. I don't know how it's pronounced, but I'll do it. 
yellow light tentacles. Oh, we've just gone flat and flew past you. Zoom. There you go. Almost another dent in my canopy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Uh, right, let's go ahead and no, plumb it down. Now, what type of that was that? A, it's a water world. I thought it was a, a water world looking at it. Yeah, I've got that straight away. I didn't even have to scan it. You got it? Yeah, you should, it should should be automatic. I mean, that's the way it's, it's supposed to work. Way that's why we're God. probably I mean, That's probably why we were having trouble earlier for some reason. Yeah, I face yeah. that time I lost. I was just wondering whether he went that far away from me. He lost a l the link, but never... But still kept it there. Yeah, just bad timing sort of thing because you were yeah. just just entering the system as I was scanning it or something like that, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Or I was still in the open space while you were scanning it. Then you. Yeah. I don't know. So. And then suddenly, suddenly triggered. Yeah, I I, I will it's... echo the sentiment that, that Snoz is is putting into the chat there. Yeah, absolutely, please do pass on our our our. Congratulations! Oh, thanks. Whoops. Where was it? The, the lot. Everything. Prime nine. Yeah. It's, it's to everyone who worked on the. Uh, the sequence of events that led up to it, it's absolutely fantastic reveal. It really is. And so many scary things to come. There you go ahead. I see a nice little mountain range there. I'm going to go ahead and plop myself on the mountain range over there. Um, do you reckon we can get a match of CQC in before we finish up tonight? Do you reckon? Yeah, we can try, yeah. We'll, we'll give it a go. Let's see if we can get in there. What are we looking at on this? Yeah, it's only it's only point one G. We're fine. Yeah, absolutely, DJ. Yeah, the same same team as well again. Have, have pulled out all the stops to do a, a fantastic uh, job. It's just the, it's haunting. The sounds are just haunting, but phenomenal. Really are. Whoops, I'm, I'm doing a flyby. Yes, but <laughs> Hello! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm behind you now. Whoops, 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 whoops. You look like a shooting star. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love the effect on this. Uh, Prime Line saying is that you call the teams Team Shiny Things and Team Really Shiny Things <laughs> for the Art and Render team. <laughs> Yeah, I love the effect that they've put on the pixel shader stuff. Prime Nine is really, really awesome. Large fire, greetings, Commander. Uh, SJ has been tweeting interesting things. Yeah, Stephen. Yeah, she's um, she's been really, really keen today as well. Um, I, I was chatting to her earlier on. She's done some some work, obviously, on the uh, the uh, the interaction of the uh, the flyby and everything. Again, the kind of like I said, that that nature, the way that, the way that the the ship moves in a kind of natural, organic way. Just how it, how it moves is really, really awesome. I think that's um, a lot of that is down to the work that Sarah's done on there. So, Ian, is that someone asked me if you can crash into another ship in Super Cruise? It's not possible. No, Prime Nine saying no, the, the physics engine doesn't like things moving at that speed. Yeah, <laughs> no, I didn't. It's like you know, it's like a, like like a pinhead it and a pinhead at the speed of light. Yeah, it's not. Not gonna well, be you a... look like you're in super cruise all the time. <laughs> you go that fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Landing gear helps. Landing gear. Right. Uh, why have you got your nose towards the planet? I'm just trying, <laughs> trying to find a. It's a bit bumpy here. There might not be anywhere I can land. Trying to... Well, well, you can land. I can't land. Yeah, I was gonna say with it. It's 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 a little too bumpy. Even even for the for the little asp, yeah, yeah. There's there's nowhere to put her feet down. Oh dear. Go on, Bessie. Go on, Bessie. You can find a spot now. Well, perhaps if perhaps if I land hard and flatten it for you, then you <laughs> <can> <laughs> yeah, stomp, <laughs> stomp it down a little bit. Stomp it down. Yeah. Oh, land the gear for me as well. I might as well land. I, don't, I just leave mine in space. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's just yeah, it's just it's a little bit of fun. Um, yeah, bit of oops. Oh, I think I found somewhere. Oh, well, you got got a little place over there, have you? Got a nice view of the water world over there. 
me just plunk it down here. It looks it looks a little bit flatter over here. I'm gonna plunk down on that. The asp oh, isn't oh, little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I forget that. Yeah, I, I know, Stephen. It's uh, it's about the size of a of a reasonable sized apartment block, isn't it? But you kind of lose all sense of scale when you think I cannot wait until we can walk around inside these things. So you kind of you realize how ridiculously huge these things are. Even like the the eagle, the eagle gives you the impression that it's something like a small fighter, like a, like a an F twenty two or something like that. But realistically, it's like the size of a building. It's huge. Oops, I'm in there the we ground. go. There's, there's a couple of there's a couple of little spots here we can plonk down. Oh, was that you Boom. making the crashing noise? <laughs> yeah, I didn't live up to my <laughs> name. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I thought it was me. <laughs> it's like boom, crunch, crunch. Ooh, ooh, sugar. Right, do you? See you in the void, Karakina. Well. See you. Oh, you did. Did you bounce? Are you okay? Oh, yeah, you've got a bit of damage. Yeah, eighty. <laughs> oh, crumbs. I thought it was you. And it... Well, I don't think you. So it must have been me. Oopsie. I was thinking it was you because you were saying you were in the ground. I was literally just landing at that point. Yeah, I was just just about to go down. Ooh, I better not land because I don't. Th I don't think. Uh... Yeah, take it. Take it steady. I wouldn't want you to uh, end up in trouble. I've lost you now. I did see you overhead just now, but you've. Uh... I'm just. I'll turn myself. You're underneath me. All oh, right. Oh, must look up. Oops. I love the. I think I'm get. I'm giving up on landing. Yeah, it's probably for the best. It's just, just rocky. to be safe. It is. It is a little lumpy around here. But yeah, I do. I love the density of the star field this close to the core. It's just. Look at it. 77 and more. Normally, I'm, I'm getting a lot better now with my exploration, not crashing into stuff. So, where before, when I first started, it was like, I did a thousand miles, it's 77%. Now, I've done being a point on 76%. <laughs> scary. It is scary. You had a, a couple of little hair raising moments, didn't you? Which yeah, were that. really. Uh, oh, crikey. So. Right here, let's uh, let's switch on out for a second and see if we can get it. just just one game of deathmatch. Let's get one game of deathmatch and see if you see it. Yeah. See if we can do it. Start. And I'll go ahead and I'll I'll do the usual three, two, one in the chat, and hopefully we can get one game in before we before we wrap up tonight. Are you inviting me? Uh, or just we're just gonna we're gonna give it a go. We're just gonna hit deathmatch. Okay, yeah. We'll do it in. Normally, it's probably all right anyway. CQC. CQC. No, CQ Squee. CQ Squee. I'm in, but I'm not. Don't know if you coming in. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit deathmatch and see if we can get matched up on there. Oh, your PC is occupied. Sorry, Prime Knight. I, I'm going to try and do some more CQC streams coming up as well, and I'll definitely, um, like I said, try and get involved in a few more of the events which are going around down there, because I, I, love, I love playing CQC. i just trying to find the time to do it all. Is that how I'm in. Are you in? Uh, I'm just searching for a match at the moment. Oh, um, I'm loading. Do you want me to come out and come back in again? Or? Oh, that's okay. No, you carry on. You carry on. Let's just see if we can get a, get a match, just for a bit of fun, just before we, we wrap up. Oh, it's already right. started, um, this is. Vin is saying the dark side of the planet should be a near perpetual starlight near the centre. Yeah, I've, 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 there's been a lot of conversation back and forth on the forum on how that's supposed to look, and I forget who it was. I apologise. It was I think it was someone from the render team did pop in and say um, that the current system for the for the light adjustment is very much a placeholder, and there there, there is work scheduled to uh, to improve the way that works. I don't think that's Oh, oh, here we go. We got a match starting up, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna concentration face. Whoopsie. Oh, thermal attack. Who's got the thermal attack on that? It's a shame you can't have the. Uh, 
can't have your paint jobs that you buy from the main game in CQC. That would be nice. If you could customise it. Yeah. It's all blue and the red, isn't it? Yeah. Set for your sidewinder, then it's white and red lines. Oh, oh here we go. There we go. I need to. No, 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 no. Nah, I couldn't get to the shield boost in time. I knew that was coming. Uh, now let's stick with the condor. I like the condor. Uh, Prime saying the lighting has to be fairly normalised for practical reasons. If we use a realistic model in the core, everything melts. Everything melts. Yeah, I can well imagine. So, so I, I mean, I, I've, I mean, I don't know the full details of how you guys have implemented it, but I mean, looking at me from from a logical, practical point of view, um, I, I've had discussions with people on the forum and in various places and stuff like that. I can understand exactly why you did it. I mean, just the sheer range in like you know star uh, luminosity and things like that where you have like these ridiculously bright stars um, at next to like then the really really dim brown dwarfs and, and planets which are uh, you know have got like no uh, reflectivity and things like that just just the, the range of lighting is just impossible to represent without some kind of normalization and uh, you know I've tried to explain that to people um, but people always kind of miss the point on, on, on what you're trying to do. It's like, yes, it is realistic. Yes, you guys have, you know, have, have absolutely tried to hit the nail on the head with um, the representation of it in-game, but it's never going to be 100% accurate, because if it was, you wouldn't see anything. It would either be pitch black, or everything would be completely washed out bright white, you know, from the ridiculous luminosity on there. Oh, okay, uh, yes, Ian is off. Have a good stream, buddy. We will uh, probably head on over to uh, to Mr. Gaming with Ian very shortly. Yeah. Oh. I've been such a community like the Leeds. Everybody's all friendly and everything. So yeah, it's never... lovely. It is. Ah! Oh! Good shot there, Commander Iron Gear. Uh, Andy Pickering, I wish the aliens would show up in CQC. That would be um, a very short CQC match. <laughs> Just boom. <laughs> uh, so, oh, so I roll up a little bit there. Stephen, I should say, uh, an SRV CQC mode and a, and a zone for that would be that would be fun. I I'd, I'd like that. Some little challenges with the SRV. Something a bit more, um, you know, goal orientated stuff. SRV stunt runs on on surfaces or something like that, like destruction derby style events, you know. I mean, it's nice that the players have got these kind of things in. I think that kind of shows like the sort of things that players would like to see. So it would be really cool if there was some official. Uh... Oh. Oh. There you are. Got you. Uh, some official support for that would be really, really nice. Commander Grub Five. Ah. Uh, did he get me? No. Andrea was on my tail as well. Damn it! Damn it! Up. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, DJ Charles saying there's well, it should be one star every point one light you're in the center. Yeah, it's it's very dense near the center. I don't think um, elite models that perfectly because I mean basically it'd be unplayable. You wouldn't really be able to do anything. You'd be able to select all those stars. It would be so ridiculously dense um, that you just wouldn't be able to click anything in the galaxy map. You'd be able to do it. So I think there's a there's a little bit of an adjustment there to make it a bit more reasonable from that point of view. Yes, GG commanders, GG. Did you win? I think I I may have I may have just just tipped the last one. Yes. <laughs> But it's good fun. It's good fun. Uh, Prime Nine. Oh, I'm going to quickly read that from Prime Nine. Uh, it's only back of the the envelope calculations, but you know when you're looking into one of those example situations, it's very roughly bright enough from so many stars that the light reflected off the planet you're orbiting would still be bright enough to set the pilot on fire. <laughs> and that's that's the thing which people don't realise when they make these comments on the forum is that you guys think of these things, you really have thought of it and you've come up with the the best compromise solution for you know for what you can do and you know, I keep fighting the corner on that. People will get it eventually, I think. That's 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 the main thing. But there we go. Um 
Elite Dangerous is the 26th most viewed game, and for good reason, DJ, for good reason. There's some really, really cool stuff going on, so I'm going to go ahead, um, let's all go over, we'll give... We give good old Ian, where is he? Game with he's off now anyway. He will be starting up his stream very, very shortly. He's does some really, really great stuff to uh, like help people get into the game if they're if they're new to the game as well. And I imagine there are a lot of new players. I mean, I was chatting to some guys last night. They were sure. Uh, um, uh, five five guys that I've brought into the game as well, and they've not, they've not really played much. But all of this talk of various alien shenanigans has really kind of uh, uh, piqued their interest. So they've all they've all jumped in as well. So I must say thank you, thank you very much, Chris. It was really, really awesome to have you on tonight, yeah. buddy. Really, really nice to chat yeah. to you. Yeah, it was really brilliant today, mate. Thank you again for inviting me. No, any time, any time, mate. And uh, yeah, if you no time you want me again, just let us know. Absolutely, we'll do, we'll do. And if if any of you guys watching, if you want to come and you want to tell us your story about uh, how you've got into the elite world, then please do you know get in contact. Uh, it'd be really, really lovely to hear from you. Absolutely. Uh, and with that, thank you very much to uh, all of you who've joined in tonight. It was lovely to talk to you, uh, and hopefully uh, you will be safe out there in the void. See you again, commanders. <laughs>